A year ago, almost to the day, history in the making. For the first time, Beijing was allowing its people to travel directly to Taiwan instead of transiting through Hong Kong. And just a year on, Taiwan has become one of China's top tourist destinations. Up to 3,000 people a day are making the short hop across the Taiwan Strait. Since the direct link opened up, mainland tourist numbers are up 300 percent. Almost 750,000 mainlanders have visited, driven by a fascination of a shared history. Because China and Taiwan are fellow nations, I've wanted to come here for a long time. I'd like to see two things, the people and the environment, and to know the Taiwanese feelings towards the People's Republic of China. I'm just so curious to come here, to take a look, to see what Taiwan is like. There's actually a lot of Chinese people who want to come. So, where do they go? Natural attractions like the Sun Moon Lake, a couple of hours outside the capital. Man-made attractions as well. Taipei 101, which dominates the city skyline, has become a magnet for Chinese tourists. And the National Palace Museum, housing the cream of China's cultural relics taken from Beijing in the 1940s. The one thing that mainland tourists won't leave without seeing is right behind me here. It's a jadeite sculpture. This exquisite jade carving of a bak choy cabbage with two grasshoppers, easily the most popular exhibit. But surprisingly, perhaps, this treasure trove of antiquities is not the biggest draw. This is, this is the Xilin Night Market in Taipei, and it's also the number one tourist attraction for mainland Chinese coming to Taiwan. And the reason is pretty self-evident. It's about the food. They flock here in their thousands to sample Taiwan's famed culinary expertise, local delicacies like the hugely popular oyster omelette. This market is also a good place to gauge the economic impact of mainland tourism. The Taiwan Tourist Board says these tourists spend more than $200 a day. The tour groups have made a big difference to business. They all want to come here for our food. But away from the economic, cultural and even family ties that bind China and Taiwan, it's not all smiles. These tourists watch a changing of the guard at the Chiang Kai-shek monument. But less than 250 kilometers west of where they're standing, some 1,500 Chinese missiles still point at this island. Andrew Stevens, CNN, Taipei.